I remember when I got up after doing the Duvel's Tingle with this girl that was dressed like Harley Quinn. I remember I ended up basically going downstairs with absolutely nothing on. But as I was going through the house, I realized I was staying basically overnight in a haunted house and it was terrifying. Yo, what is going on, you guys? My name is Bubba, and welcome back to another insane story. So today's story all takes place back in my high school years, and this was my grade 11 year. Now, in grade 11, I'm not gonna lie, I was not a fan of horror movies, nor am I still a fan of horror movies. I just don't have the patience for them whatsoever. And knowing that it's October and that the Halloween season is here, I won't lie to you guys, I think one of my least favorite holidays is Halloween. I don't know why, I just don't think it's cool to dress up as something scary and go around scary scaring people. Maybe you guys like Halloween. I'm not sure. Comment down below if you do or not. But for me, Halloween was never my thing. And I remember back when I was in grade 11, there was one time where I was basically sitting in the school cafeteria and there was one girl that ended up sitting beside me. Now this girl, she was a friend of mine since middle school and she was always like a good friend to me. In no way did I see her in any way attractive whatsoever. For some reason, all my friends thought she was hot, but me, I don't know. I guess since I knew her for so long, I just never saw her anything more than a friend. And I remember me and her, we started talking about like, I guess, relationships and stuff like that. And that's when she started to look at me and say, oh, Bubba, also another question. What are you doing for Halloween? Oh, I don't know. To be honest, I might just stay home, play video games, if I'm being honest with you. Wait, what? Like, you're not like going to go trick or treating or anything? Uh, no, to be honest, not really my thing. I didn't know how to tell her that me and my family weren't really, I guess, Halloween celebrators. Like, even my family was not a big fan of Halloween to the point where we didn't do anything but just stayed home and just watch movies together back when I was younger. And I remember this girl was like freaking out about that because she thought Halloween was a big deal. For some reason, her and her family were over the top about Halloween. They loved Halloween so much to the point where they would even let strangers walk through their house. And I remember she got to the point where she started telling me about this and said, oh, well, me and my family are doing like a haunted house. And like, honestly, I'm so excited because they're decorating the house like all weekend. And like, oh my goodness, for Halloween, you should come over to my place and like, you can enjoy the haunted house. Tell me how you feel. Get a real taste of Halloween. Uh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. I don't really like have a costume though or anything. Oh, I can help out with that. I love costumes. I'm not going to tell you mine, but like, trust me, I think you're going to like it. In my mind, I knew that I probably wouldn't because like I said earlier, dressing up as something scary, my opinion wasn't cool, but she kept going on and on about it. And I ended up just agreeing to see her on Halloween. And honestly, I had no idea what to expect. I remember as days went on, Halloween started becoming more of a big deal. And as the 31st started to come closer and closer, the school started getting decorated with Halloween. Everyone was talking about their costumes and me well since i didn't celebrate i really had no idea what i was doing but i remember two nights before halloween i ended up getting a phone call and it was from the girl that i knew since middle school she ended up calling me and when i answered it she's like oh baba did you figure out your costume yet because if not i have a great costume idea for you uh i mean sure what's your costume idea okay well come over i have a whole thing planned out and like i have her costume right in front of me so just like come over to my place right now uh okay i remember i ended up driving down to this girl's place with my car and when i got there i remember as i was driving around Around, I ended up seeing how many people were celebrating Halloween and like setting up their house to like look spooky and scary. And once again, I thought it was really dumb. But as I was driving down, I remember I ended up seeing her house and her house was like full on decorated to the max. Like no joke. Like there was a whole walkway. There were signs. There were scary things that like popped up when you moved around them. Like it was over the top. And I remember since everything was turned off and it was during the day, I remember I ended up just walking to her house and like, yeah, there was a lot of decorations around, but it seemed normal to me other than like the black tarps that they put around the house but i guess that was a part of like the whole haunted house situation i don't know once again i didn't really care and nor was i afraid of it because well once again i don't like believe in halloween i guess so it never really bugged me going on though i remember i ended up going to her room when i got there and she ended up basically pulling out these camo pants a white wife beater and basically an army vest when i saw this i looked at her and said wait you want me dressed like a soldier yeah like it'll be so perfect like it'll suit you so well uh isn't it like illegal to like dress as a soldier if you're not a soldier baba what do you mean it's illegal it's literally just halloween it's not illegal nothing's legal in halloween when she said that i was like kind of like in shock but i ended up taking the outfit anyways because i had really no other idea to what to wear and i remember i ended up taking it home trying it on i sent her a photo and for some reason this girl she went from being my friend to full-on flirting with me over the phone she would call me and tell me how attractive i was she ended up telling me how i should like you know wear this more often which once again i still believe believe it's illegal to wear an army uniform without actually being in the army but still going on she's basically telling me how attractive i was from just wearing this basic outfit i didn't understand how whatsoever but i ended up wearing it anyways and 
And when Halloween finally came around, I put on the same outfit and I drove over to her place to see what was the plan for Halloween. When I got to her place, I remember she ended up coming out really excited to see me. And when she came out of her house, I remember I saw her in a Harley Quinn outfit. Now, if you guys don't know anything about me, one thing I will say is that I am the biggest Batman fan on the planet. Like no joke, Batman is like my entire childhood and my entire life almost. From reading the comics to playing the games to watching every single movie, I almost knew everything there is to know about Batman. And the fact that this girl was wearing a Harley Quinn outfit really got me excited. Like no joke, something just flicked in my mind and I ended up getting brick. Obviously I didn't say anything though, cause once again, like, you know, the girl was still the same girl that I knew back in middle school. But I remember she ended up running up to me, giving me a hug and we ended up basically sitting in my car and we decided to drive around and go to the mall to get free candy that they were giving out until nighttime came. So we went to the mall, we did that. We ended up basically doing our own little trick or treating session at the mall. While I also did a little bit of shopping cause why not, we're at the mall anyways. And then that's when this girl looks at me and says, oh Bubba, it's dark out. We should actually go trick or treating. Uh, I'm not really down to trick or treat to be honest. What, why not? We basically did it at the mall. Like why wouldn't you wanna go trick or treating? I don't know, like I've never done it before. Like do you go up there and like just ask them for a trick or treat? Like what if they don't give you a treat? Like are you supposed to like actually give them a trick to do? Like I don't know any magic. I remember this girl started laughing and she started basically giggling and she started making fun of me to be honest since I didn't really know how to do Halloween, which to be fair, I don't blame her. And I remember we ended up parking my car at her place and we started walking around her neighborhood. And honestly, for my first time trick or treating, it was actually pretty fun. I don't really know if it was actually the first time I trick or treated, but like if I'm being for real here, like I still didn't really know the rules of Halloween, but honestly, it was really cool walking around, seeing other people wearing costumes. And I guess like actually going up to random people's houses, even though in any other country, I probably wouldn't do this. But since Canada is a pretty safe country and you know, our gun laws aren't as crazy, it was actually pretty fun to trick or treat with this girl. But I remember as it was starting to get late, she ended up getting text messages from her parents for her to come home soon and to help out with the haunted house. And that's when she looks at me and says, oh my goodness, Baba, we should go to do the haunted house that my parents made. I haven't fully gone through it yet since they finished. Uh, okay. What are the rules for the haunted house? Oh, basically just walk through it and like, don't touch anything and don't close your eyes either. I know you would. What? I'm not going to close my eyes. I remember me and her, we ended up basically going back to her place. And when we got there, she ended up holding my hand and we started going through the haunted house. We started going through it. And honestly, these random things would pop up. But like, since I was with her and I knew it was her house, I wasn't really that terrified to be honest. We went through it and she looked at me saying, oh wow, for a guy that doesn't celebrate Halloween, you're actually like pretty brave. Uh, yeah. I mean, I don't know. It wasn't that bad, I guess. And then me and her, we decided to end the night off by eating candy in her room and just hanging out. We ended up hanging out in her room and it was honestly getting super late to the point where she looked at me and said, honestly, Bubba, like, do you just want to like stay the night? Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm down if you want me to. And me and her, we ended up laying down the same bed and well, I guess you guys know what happens here. One thing led to another. We ended up doing the Duvel's Tango. And since she was dressed as Harley Quinn, I'm not going to lie. It was 10 times more exciting to do it with her. But this is where the story gets a little creepy because I remember in the middle of the night, out of nowhere, as I was sleeping, I randomly woke up. I randomly woke up in the middle of that night. I think my phone like vibrated and was my mom text me where I was. And I ended up texting her back saying that I would be coming back home. And what I decided to do was quickly, first thing I needed was a glass of water because you guys know those nights when you wake up really late and like your throat is drier than like the Sahara desert. Yeah, I was having one of those feelings. So I remember I ended up getting out of her bed with only my boxers on and I was trying to look for my clothes or I guess my costume to put back on before I went downstairs. But since the lights were out, I could not see anything. So I decided to say what Whatever, and I ended up going down the stairs of her place to go to find the kitchen. But obviously, since this whole house was decorated to be a haunted house, I remember as I was walking through the place, the most randomest things and the most scariest things ended up happening. Where randomly, I remember I ended up walking into a bunch of like fake webbing. And like on top of that, I ended up stepping on blood that was on the floor. And at that moment, I ended up basically getting my phone and pulling out my flashlight and going through it made it 10 times worse because I ended up seeing ghosts hanging from the ceiling. I ended up seeing skeletons on the wall. Like I started to actually freak out. I guess this was like a real experience being in a haunted house overnight because I was absolutely terrified and it got to the point where I remember all of a sudden I felt like someone touched my shoulder and I ended up turning around freaking out and I was like, oh, 
what was that? And I ended up falling backwards into a black tarp and everything just went lights out. At that moment, I remember I ended up seeing someone pull the tarp off me and it was the girl that I stayed the night with. And she looks at me while just wearing her underwear and she says to me, Bubba, what are you doing down here so late? Uh, I just needed a glass of water. Oh, okay. Well, the kitchen's this way. Here, let me turn on the light. I remember she turns on the light and me and her go to the kitchen and she started basically laughing at me because, well, I got absolutely terrified. And I remember she ended up basically even passing my clothes over to me and said, honestly, Bubba, it's getting really late and my parents are going to wake up in a couple hours. Do you want to like stay the night still or do you want to like head back home? Uh, honestly, I think I'm going to head back to be honest. I don't think I'm really the Halloween type. Okay, well, I guess I'll see you at school on Monday. Yeah, uh, you'll see me there. And I remember I ended up putting on my costume. I ended up going to my car and I drove home. Honestly, it was super terrifying being in that house overnight. And even though I got to do the devil's tango with Harley Quinn, like I am not a person that is meant for Halloween because maybe I get scared too easily. But if you guys are not scared of anything and you guys are strong enough to go through Halloween, then fall for more embarrassing stories just like this one. Peace out, guys.